The Rolling Thunder. The Horn of Jericho. The Spanish Wind. The Cover Up. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. It is so refreshing to find politicians who practice what they preach. For the better part of two decades, John Kerry has been flying around the world in a private jet declaring how dangerous uncontrolled emissions are and how important it will be to find renewable sources of energy, including natural gas. And John Kerry practices what he preaches, damn it! Because John Kerry ripped a real one on stage, letting out a massive fart on a panel about climate change. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, John Kerry's loud fart erupted during his climate speech where John Kerry was talking about the dangers of emissions. When John Kerry decided to prove that he himself and all of us actually contain what nature would call an unlimited reserve of true natural gas. It is so important for John Kerry to have made this point, and he did so publicly, and he did so so that the whole world could see. Please observe. Avoiding responsibility for taking away those things that are killing people on a daily basis. Mm. And, and the daily basis. Mm. Daily basis. <laughs> and, and the <laughs> Look at the lady next to him going, oh, no! <laughs> eh, <my Jenny. laughs> What's going on, Johnny boy? John Kerry may need to cut back on his own emissions. Uh, the Biden administration climate envoy has been discussing U.S. policy on coal power plants. The climate change conference in Dubai on Sunday when Kerry may have unleashed a burst of wind energy. That's a good one. The former secretary of state speaking next to Becky Anderson, managing director of CNN Abu Dubai. Oh, OK. And Faith Brawl, executive director of the International Energy Agency, when a Bronx cheer suddenly erupted mid-sentence. A Bronx cheer. Is that something that they say in New York? This is the New York Post writing. There there should be, shouldn't be any more coal-fired plants permitted anywhere in the world, Kerry began before launching into an anti-coal diatribe. Yet it was indeed the rolling coal inside of John Kerry's pants. That has made all the headlines here from the Daily Mail. John Kerry accused of farting during climate speech where he asked for coal power plants to be eliminated. During an impassioned rant about the use of coal in the world, former presidential candidate John Kerry emitted some gas of his own. And of course, you can see the telltale process of the 80-year-old. Uh, I mean, again, when you're 80 years old, you can't really control this kind of stuff anymore. You ever been around 80-year-old people? They're like windbags, baby. They are gnarly. Things get hectic and stinky. Avoiding responsibility for taking away those things that are killing people on a daily basis. Mm. And, and the <laughs> daily basis. Mm. Daily basis. Mm. So you see how he kind of like jerks there and how he like waits, how he's finished with the sentence and then he kind of waits. Yes, ladies and, and gentlemen. The... It's so important to really study this kind of stuff because, uh, you know, it, it, not only do they, does it make headlines around the world, but it also just really proves that John Kerry himself uh, is, pra again, practicing what he preaches, okay? It's important for us to learn the power of wind energy and gas renewables. New loud fart sound erupts during John Kerry's speech at climate panel. John Kerry may need to cut back on his own emissions, according to the New York Post. John Kerry farts at 34 seconds in this clip, and nobody's talking about it. Very important. Did John Kerry just fart on stage during the climate summit? The answer to that question, sir, is Yes. Cow farts aren't causing climate change. It was John Kerry all along. Why is John Kerry going after the cows? This makes no sense. He married into the Heinz ketchup fortune. Teresa Heinz Kerry is his wife. And, uh, well, there would be far less ketchup to sell and mustard if there were no hamburgers. Why would John Kerry be doing this? Has anybody asked him about the massive emission that he released during the latest COP panel? This is very important. Why hasn't John Kerry asked these kind of questions? Because when John Kerry gets asked a question like, why did you fart on stage? Why are you going after cows for their farts when you just fart, you just crop dusted everyone? Well, John Kerry's very bad at answering questions like that. John Kerry won a climate award, 
because those things exist for some reason. Uh, and then was asked, why did you take a private jet to go pick up your climate award? On that issue, pollution, I understand that you came here with a private jet. Uh, is that the, an environmental way to travel? If you offset your carbon, it's the only choice for somebody like me who is traveling the world to win this battle. Uh, I negotiated the Paris Accords uh, for the United States. I've been involved in this fight for years. I negotiated with President Xi to bring President Xi to the table so we could get Paris. And uh, I believe the time it takes me to get somewhere, I can't sail across the ocean, I have to fly to meet with people and get things done. But what I'm doing, almost full time, is working to win the battle of climate change. And in the end, uh, if I offset and contribute my life to do this, uh, I'm not gonna be put on the defensive. <laughs> well, you sound like you're on the defensive, <laughs> you old creep. Look at it. By the way, how poorly. Speaking of speaking of things that are aging poorly, uh, John Kerry's face. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, it's just awful. I mean, talk about some person who deserves some global warming. Like, it looks like you're melted by the sun, dude. No wonder you're so concerned about global warming. I mean, it looks like you are melting. Gross. Even from that clip just a couple of years ago. John Kerry is looking absolutely gnarly. John Kerry is such a dirty, lying, effing hypocrite, along with the rest of them, or along with the rest of these old 80-year-old degenerates who won't be here, right, in five years. So why are they doing this to us? You won't be, just based on the average median age, Matt, median age for an American male is like 75. So Joe Biden, John Kerry, they're already, they're, they're already pushing it. Yet they're sitting here doing their level-headed best to make sure that we live in a poorer, with poorer society, with less freedom, with less combustible engines, with less free, not free, but cheap energy to get an economy moving. They are dead set on destroying everything. It's, I mean, these people, they're, they're evil. And you would also think that Joe Biden's evil if he crop dusted you, Camilla Parker Bowles, as the wife of the Queen of England, uh, King of England, can't stop talking about Joe Biden's long fart, she said. President Biden let out a long, loud fart while speaking with the Duchess of Cornwall at the COP26 summit. So it's always it's always at these climate summits that our aging, decaying, degenerate leaders uh, are uh, ripping ass. Camilla Carper Bowles hasn't stopped talking about the 78-year-old's long fart it has been reported the pair were making small talk at the global climate gathering in Scotland last week when the president broke wind, according to an informed source. It was long and loud and impossible to ignore. Camilla has not stopped talking about it. Oh man, this is ab this is absolutely what your face looks like when Joe Biden uh, gives you some of his uh, special emissions. Oh man, and here's a photo of Joe Biden farting, literally in the presence of Camilla Parker Bowles. Holy smokes. We have clips of Joe Biden uh, farting on camera, like doing doing this on camera. So here's Joe Biden walking up to the uh, press corps at the White House saying his butt's been wiped. Be what must be what? Immigration. <laughs> a pathway for citizenship. There needs to be a path. I mean, I think that's what he says, right? Must be a reconciliation. What must be what? My, my butt's a been wiped? I don't know. I mean, if you speak Biden, let me know. Uh, why would his butt be wiped? Well, because Joe Biden recently crapped himself on national TV. You can see it in a clip. There's this clip where Joe Biden's on live TV in the middle of an interview, not the end of an interview, in the middle of an interview. And Joe Biden's done this before. He's on live TV. And he's, he's done. So, how many interviews has Joe Biden done in a studio in Washington, D.C.? Hundreds of thousands of millions. Joe Biden's been a fossil. He's been in Washington, D.C. since Jimmy Carter was president. And Joe, Joe Biden has this moment where he just gets up and runs away in the middle of an interview. This is why his butt's been wiped. And the ones that didn't vote for your bills, but run on them. them That's too. right. <laughs> Mr. President, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very oh, much. I appreciate it's great it. to have you. It's thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. It's a very exciting day around here. Um, there he we'll goes. Have there he goes. We'll have reactions and analysis to everything we just heard. And he's off. This is Joe Biden literally walking. Look at him. Look. There he goes. He walks behind the anchor in the studio he just gets up look this is not the this is the stature of a man who just crapped his pants i know this i have little kids who crap their pants that's that's what's going on 
but that man right now. And it's been happening with Democrats all across TV. I don't know why Democrats keep doing this. Maybe it is their, maybe it is their desire to, you know, save the environment, to prove the dangers uh, of unlawful uh, and unlimited emissions. But this stuff's just scary at this point. Watch uh, Eric Swalwell uh, d- explain, like, show us why Fang Fang left him. It's- is uncontradicted that the president used taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help him cheat an election. And the complaint that I've heard from... Real clip, not edited. Would never do that to you. We love you. We care about you too much. We would never, ever edit that. Notice here in this clip, you can actually see Eric Swalwell move. You can see the classic move back, right? When he let her rip. That the president used taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help him cheat an election. And the complaint that I've heard... What can you say? At least they practice what they preach. AOC love you know loves the climate, climate green new deal and everything. The United States' responsibility is to human rights, she says, in a tweet. But here's the deal: like what she's really talking about here is not human rights. What she's talking about here is the use of green energy gases, as she demonstrates. Of victims who do not want their tragedy mm. used to justify further violence and injustice. Right. What was that? Beautiful. Rights to prevent the ethnic cleansing of Palestinians and to ensure that horrors do not happen in the names of victims who do not want their tragedy mm. used to justify My further goodness. violence and injustice. Right. Can we go, can we please Beautiful go said. to the, uh, can we please go to the infrared? Names of victims who do not want their tragedy mm. used to justify Seems conclusive, ladies and gentlemen. Seems conclusive. AOC actually tweeted this. It's AOC's account. It's got 782,000 followers. She, she tweeted that clip. She's proud of it. And maybe she should be. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems as though it is Democrats, and Democrats alone, who are the ones who are filling the world with extra greenhouse gases. But you know what? We're all still here. And it seems like it's going to be one of the coldest winters ever. So maybe they're just lying to you. Just a thought. It's your boy, Benny. Stay based. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya.